got shadows on my face. Hey guys, today's look's gonna be a glittery unicorn festival look. First, I'm using a sunscreen to make sure I don't get any wrinkles. We want this to last all day, so we're gonna put a primer down the middle of my face. And because I have red spots everywhere, I'm gonna do some color correcting. And a little bit more green for those super red cheeks. Now on to foundation. This one also has SPF 15 in it. It's a really good idea when you're going to a festival to make sure you use sunscreen. Nobody wants premature wrinkles. I'm using my beauty sponge to put this all over my face and I always like to use my brush to smooth it out at the end. Now on to contouring, here I'm using actually a purpley shimmery contour. And this is the NYX Bright Ideas Stick. I'm using it for a blush, just so I can have a really bright pink cheek that's probably not going to go anywhere. And I'm just setting my face with a powder. This one also has SPF 15 and some shimmer. I'm gonna set my cheeks with a shimmery pink powder. And what's a unicorn without a little bit of iridescent highlighter? It's magic! Now I have eyebrows. And I'm using that same NYX Bright Ideas pink uh, stick to put a base for my eyeshadow. On the inner corner, I'm using a shimmery baby pink. I'm taking it pretty high up on the inner corner, uh, pretty close to the eyebrows. On the outer corner, I'm using a shimmery blue. Um, kind of taking it up into the crease some. And in the middle, I'm using a uh, purple. Pretty much everything I'm using has shimmer in it. The face powder, the blush, the eyeshadow. We're shimmering it up today. What's a unicorn without glitter? I'm just blending some of that blue on top into the purple, trying to make things a little bit smoother. Now I'm doing a wing with my liquid eyeliner. If you're going to a festival, it's best to use waterproof. I have one eye that's different than the other, so I try to do the main body of the eyeliner first on both eyes so I can figure out the thickness it needs to be. And I messed up, but I fixed it. Now I'm gonna do my lower lash line. I'm doing the same three colors. The pink on the inside, blue on the outside, and purple in the middle. 
and I'm blending them down a little bit. And I'm going to add another layer of iridescent highlighter to my brow bone under the outer corner of my eye and the tops of my cheekbones. And down my nose as well and on my cupid's bow. Through the magic of editing, I now have mascara and giant eyelashes on. I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil in the lightest shade to reverse line my lips. And I'm going to fill that in with some black liquid to matte lipstick. Once I finished adding my lipstick, I used a small brush to kind of blend out the Wonder Pencil so it wasn't a stark line. And now I'm going to add some eyelash glue to my bottom lip so that I can put something cool there. And I kept putting my lips together like I didn't know that glue was sticky, but it didn't ruin it too bad. I'm just using an orange wood stick to add a chunky, mermaidy, it's like a teal, purple, silver, and pink craft glitter to my bottom lip. And I only ate a couple while filming this, so I consider it a success. Also, it looks pretty cool, I think. And the final touch to my unicorn festival look is some glitter roots to go with my space buns. I just mixed that same glitter from my lips and a smaller glitter in the same type of shade as well as some iridescent chunky glitter with some hair gel. And I'm painting it down my zigzag part with an extra foundation brush that I have. And it was pretty fun. Uh, it was kind of hard to wash out, but I think it was worth it. I would totally wear this to a festival. And once it dries, it's, you're not going to sweat it off, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, I moved to some better sunlight so you all can see the final look. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!